All right, I got a new one here for you tonight. They uh, claim it's based on true stories. You're playing as like a reporter and you get a job uh, as like a forest ranger and you're trying to like investigate like missing hikers out there in the forest. So it looked pretty cool, man. I think it'll be pretty interesting. I think it's like a new series going on too. And it uh, might be a demo, I'm not sure, but we'll find out. Uh, yeah, a new series based on real life events and personal accounts of hikers. The narrative has been altered for entertainment. Thousands of missing reports filed each year in the U.S. national parks. Many cases remain unexplained. Individual stall oh shit, going, going too quick for me. Yeah, it's just going too quick for me to read. But I already told you what we're doing here. Is that the way I'm going? think drop you know right in the middle of the woods here better get running I was like what the hell is that big old rock or boulder well you could jam like that and you run away just run like that is that a pig better not be a pig following me Hunt you and cook you. There's a pig out here. Whoa. You're not a pig. What happened there? Are you in my car with me? Hey there, Nightcrawler. You're locked in with Station 5, where the news takes a walk on the wild side. I'm your man in the shadows, Mike Stone. Have you guys heard about these missing hikers? All over our national parks, this isn't something you hear about anymore. But check out these stats. According to the latest data from the National Park Service, around 1,000 to 2,500 people go missing in national parks and forests each year. Death Valley, Yellowstone, Cascades, uh, all kinds of reports of missing people. The numbers are massive. Okay, I've got a few examples here. One hiker found out their days in the woods, couldn't recall basic details about their hike or how they got lost. Now, folks, these aren't isolated incidents. Another displayed signs of... Uh, Wait, who's watching from over there? Who is that? Oh, way dark over there. Never mind. I'm gonna get killed, man. Hmm. Yeah, killer in the bushes, man. I'm gonna do get a new tire. Got a little bit of everything. Why is there always milk on the shelf? Please tell me. Some shoulders, man. Evening. What can I get you? Uh, just grabbing some supplies. I'm a new ranger in the area. Another one, huh? You guys are a dime a dozen. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? There's a new guy here just about every other month. Some people just don't last out in the woods. It can get a bit creepy, you know. Oh, really? What are you doing? You got anything good in there? He's like, I don't know what I want. Too many to choose from, man. Better turn that volume up a little bit. Wait, what am, what am I doing? What am I buying? It better not be milk. Um, okay. Alright, well, I'll be on my way. Oh, wait, is that for me? Is that what I bought? I didn't pick that. Okay, goodbye. I think I got what I need. I didn't pump anything though. Oh, well. get the hell out of here before we die. Recent reports from research and rescue teams highlight a puzzling trend. 
A significant number of those who are located after going missing in the wild often exhibit strange mental conditions. We're talking about disorientation, uh, memory loss, and in some cases, ah, bizarre behavior uh, that leaves rescuers and medical professionals baffled. But some of these disappearances just don't make any sense. You got experienced hikers, um, forest workers, lumberjacks, and even rangers. Just about 5% of these missing people are never found. Um, they just go missing without any trace. They search for these people for weeks and they find absolutely nothing. Now that's a staggering figure. And it's got us wondering what exactly is happening out there in the wilderness. Wait, how did I get back here? And uh, don't mind my bad driving. I was trying to you know, run some shit over. Maybe, you know, flip the car. What do you got around here? Do I have a flashlight? The fuse for me? Hmm, should I... Should I be back here? Oh, hello. You guys are waiting for me, huh? Who forgot their drinks, man? You knew I was coming back, huh? Why is he looking at me like that? <laughs> He's like, hello. <laughs> New ranger, huh? They come and go like the wind. Whispering pines play tricks. You'll find. I think I'm lost. Can you help me with some directions? Lost a hiker recently. Vanished in the woods, swallowed whole. Happens more than you'd ever be told. Been here a while, seen the faces change. Rangers like you, their stories rearrange. Something in these woods, something strange. Good luck, Ranger. The forest's a maze. It knows who stays and who decays. Hey, I like you, man. I hope when I drive away I come to another one of these and you're here again because I like what you're up to. You're a cool guy. Why do I feel like I'm in like uh, Twin Peaks or you know that uh, was that that red room I forget what they call it. Looks like something you're looking for is missing. Hmm. What do you have for me? Documents about missing people. Do I need that info? What do you got back there? Dale Cooper? Okay, I'm taking a watermelon. Oh, he's watching. He's like, hey, you. <laughs> I like you, bud. You're pretty cool. Alright. You guys uh, keep chilling. Keep chilling with your milk on the shelf. Just don't drink it. You know, the voices in my head are getting louder. They're whispering her name! <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> There's this hiker. When the search and rescue teams finally found him, it was a scene. <laughs> the hiker and they stayed in Dragon had resorted to desperate measures. The evidence of his ordeal was written in the mutilated flesh of his own fingers. Shoot and nod in desperate bid for sustenance. Wow! This sucker. He hit his own fingers. He must have been out of his mind. It's your turn. You will never get out of these holes! Let me go talk to my buddy Jim. Jim, what are you doing? You, you got me worried now. Uh-oh. Friend, what, what's about to happen to me? Are you floating? In shadows deep, where trees entwine, a mystery unfolds. A tale malign, through tangled woods, where whispers soar, lost are hikers, seen no more. 
answer the call on the forest breeze. Each ring, a step closer, unravel the twine. Find the hikers lost, where the shadows align. Well, are you gonna pick it up? Pick what up? Uh oh. That was gonna tell me I dropped my pocket. Hello. Hello. Oh, who is it? Wake up. Whoa, whoa. I am in uh, fears to fathom. Should probably unpack. All right. Um, anyone there? Tower six. Do you read me? Over. I read you. Pretty interesting. I had a nightmare. That's my bad. Um, shouldn't tell you creepy stories on your first day. So that was made up, right? Actually, no. One of the guys overheard it down at the station. Pretty weird, right? Are you on lithium? I was walking my dog Buddy in the forest one evening and I decided to explore a path I didn't know much. But he likes to run around on his own. I lost track of him. He usually comes back in about half an hour. Suddenly I had this urge to look at something on the ground as I crouched down to look at the ground just out of the corner of my eye. I saw a man in a red sweater standing in front of me. I looked up at his face to say hello or something like that. He disappeared freak out a little bit and quickly start making my way back home on the same path I got there. I stopped and looked around for Buddy. As I turned back to continue home right in front of me, there was a severed deer leg neatly placed on the forest path. It's pretty odd. I've not been, that, been down that path since. <laughs> I don't blame you. I was like, are we jumping into another one or is that like a... Kind of like an intro to, you know, part two. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. It's getting pretty good. I wish it was longer. Uh, I think it's a demo, though. It says beta down there at the bottom. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to come back for more of that.